What's up, guys? It's Tama Jamma here, and as always, we are going to do a quick recap of the trades we took today. We are still currently in some spy uh, day trades. We did hit about 50% on these. I'll go over that first. Uh, if we rewind to about this area right here. Um, as we came down and we bounced, this was our original, this green line was our original call entry and we couldn't get that confirmation through this entire range here. And we actually took, we waited, we had this breakout candle here, the pullback candle, and then we took our entry right here on this third candle. All right. Why is, that's not what I want. What is going on? All right. Right there, that candle. That's where we took our entry. Uh, and we played it up. We got about a 50% pop on zero DTs. We do have a couple contracts left. We, we have trimmed heavily. Most people got 35 to 45%. 50% was if you played it perfect wick to wick. Um, and as long as we hold this 513.60 area or so, we could push a little higher. We have officially break all time highs again by I think six cents. I think it was 520 uh, before that. Yeah, 514.20. And we have 514.26. Woo! Diggity who let's go second trade of the day that we took on the day trading side and then when I will go over swing trades is snap chat baby all right so we have the snap trade that we took and as you can see here um this nice little, just a little cup here. We might end up coming up with a shoulder, getting the inverted cup, cup and handle. That's fine. But as far as the day trading goes, let me put on the five minute chart here. We took our entry very, very quickly at our break of entry. We actually missed that initial break candle, waited for the pullback and took the entry here. And because it's a very, very small uh, small cost per contract. It was about 28, 26, 28 cents uh, as we took the entry. This this ripped 80 to 100 percent. If you got in right when I did, most people got about 50 to 60 percent because full disclosure, it takes them a little bit to get the contracts up, everything else, which is expected. So we played this this from right here. This was our exact entry on the trade. Uh, we played these on Twitter as well as here in Discord. And Snap actually looks really fantastic here for for a second push. I do have a couple contracts left. This looks interesting if we break out of this wedge here. Um, everybody listening that is just listening from the Discord, keep an eye on this wedge. We'll come back to it after I finish recording this video. And everybody that's listening, let's carry on. Those were the for the two day trades we took. And as far as this week's swings, it were the, was the following. We took a PLTR yesterday to today. Everybody took a variety of contracts. Um, but we took our entry yesterday at close and it popped 4% overnight. The people that took short-term contracts to expire next week got about 130% on that. And the people that took April into May got 30 to 40% very quickly overnight. Beautiful, beautiful trade. Snap is a swing trade also that we have been in. Um, and really enjoying. We're in the June swings. We're up about 50, 60%. Our April swings are up 80%. So very, very nice one, two on that one. That was one we took, uh, I think we entered the beginning of this week. Apple puts. We entered into these uh, Monday, right away Monday, which is right here, um, and held. Um, I'm up about 300% on my final contracts. And then I did take puts again yesterday. Uh, we held those for about 30 to 40%. This is a beautiful setup. Uh, we've been watching it for quite a while, waiting for that 180 break, which is right here. Let me pull a line up. We're waiting for this loss. And as you can see, it lost. News helped trigger it a little bit. It was pretty nasty sell off there. So now as we start to approach the 165 to 167 area, we're up at a next major level. So this is your exclusive uh, swing trade to watch. I want to see us settle in this box right here and then make that decision of either clearing this low and pushing back up or losing this low and pushing back down. But we've got a major, major decision point between 165 and 166. Uh, watch and see what happens at that area because it's very, very important. XOM swing was one we had Tuesday on the stream, whether you were on X or on the Discord. I had told us that Tuesday if we had 
closed above 105, which we did. We closed the 105.64 that we were going to open it that day. Um, currently, we are up. Let me check my exact positions on this one, on the thing. Um, and currently, we are up because I have two different months on these. Sorry, I've got to log in. I got a new phone and my my uh, figure swim logs me out constantly. So I've got to figure out what's going on there. March 15th, we're up. So the March 15th, we're up 70%. And then we've got the June, we're up about 25% on those. And then UPS is another one we swung. Um, and we were waiting for that break in that hold. This is also one I put on um, as an idea over the last couple of days on Twitter. We're looking for that break in that hold of 152 was actually what we were looking for. And then I expected us to have a pretty easy push up to the gap fill, which is 154.81, which is absolutely happening as we speak. And this is when we play day trades on and everything else quite a few times. Um, my March 8th, which I held a couple overnight, are up about 78% right now. And then my March 15th are up about 28%. So we're getting that really strong push that we were looking for. And I believe that's the only trades we open new this week. Um, we've got, we do have an arm, um, which as you can see on the daily, we had a nice push. Uh, after a couple days sell off, we have a debit spread going on there. We have plenty of active trades, but these are the new entry trades. And IWM, that's right, IWM swing. I have April IWM calls. I really, really like us back above this 206 area. I went a little further out into April because it could take a few days. We do have some chop in here, but I'm really looking for a nice push to at least 210 and then 215. And 221 is a bonus on that. We had a really very clear um, wick off accumulation in here with clearing these lows with lower highs and clearing these highs with higher lows. Um, so it's one I really do like. And then that, I think that's the last of, uh, the trades we've had this week. Thanks for checking us out and I will see you guys next time. Bye.